What is going on guys? Today I am going through and breaking down everything that we know about dungeons in Ashes of Creation and how exactly they are going to work in the game. Like any MMORPG you've played, you've probably come to expect some sort of dungeon taking you through various bosses to earn more rewards. Well, Ashes of Creation is no different in this, but the way they come across it is pretty refreshing to the idea. The majority of dungeons in Ashes will be open world. About 20% of them are instanced and 80% of them open, and that 20% is more towards dungeons that have a larger narrative impact on the game. Intrepid is going hard trying to make the world seem seamless as possible with no loading screen and that includes dungeons and raids. The scale of these dungeons will vary. Some dungeons will be massive in scale with huge caverns and open world spaces that have room for multiple groups to head into and each fight their own path, while others will be smaller and meant for quick dungeon runs that players may only have a short amount of time to complete, where players who only have 30 minutes should be able to defeat the boss. The biggest changes to dungeons and raids in Ashes of Creation is that each server will have different ones. As nodes develop, they alter the world based on how players choose to develop these, and this gives the opportunity to open up new dungeons that other servers may not have, along with being shut out from some in the same way. How a node is governed and how players choose to progress in the world will have a huge impact on this. There are also minor impacts that can happen as well, such as population and difficulty change. Different types of bosses with different storylines and loot in them will change based on the progression of that certain area. For what you get for loot, well, it's as you'd expect. You'll get a variety of crafting materials and items to equip, along with gold for defeating the boss. But they have a more realistic approach to them as well. If you fight a giant wolf, it isn't going to drop a sack of gold for you. It will drop pelts instead that can be sold for gold or used for crafting, keeping a sense of realism in your loot. You will also get different types of dungeons based on the part of the world you are in, such as underwater dungeons which will be a part of the naval content in Ashes of Creation. What are your thoughts on dungeons in Ashes? Let me know in the comments below and if you are new to Ashes of Creation and want to jump in on the forums and support the game, feel free to use my referral link in the description below, otherwise be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up and stay tuned for a lot more to come.